It just kind of takes your breath away how much has been put into this project and how much love exists in it. At the time, the community was struggling with what is HIV AIDS and do we support people that are living with that? And if we do, how? And so we are able to bring it here to create awareness about the disease that was affecting people everywhere. You can actually look at every single quilt online, but you don't get the vastness of the size when you see it, until you see it in person. If you laid out the, all the blocks and panels that they have, it would stretch for 55 miles. And just thinking about how many people that means that have been lost to AIDS. It was breathtaking. The moment we got told they were here, we got so excited and we came down to the first floor. It's the only floor that has space big enough to unfold them all because we had to do a check on them. I saw a number of, of names on there of, of people I actually knew and uh, went to either college with or met their, their close relative uh, who brought issues uh, here when the panel originally came. Nobody wanted to forget these people. At the time, I think when you reflect on what happened during that crisis, most of them felt like they had been forgotten by the world. Those people aren't just statistics or numbers. They were people with real lives who had family members um, affected as well. When people were making the, the quilt panels, they were obviously going to be filled with so much emotion just from the person making it and being able to see it in person and feeling those emotions come through the quilt. I get chills every time I'm talking about it. So. I learned so much and it was so much fun. Like, now I have to do this more. I wanna learn more about this project. I wanna see if there are more, if there are more quilt making projects.